Now I just have a few of my powder products here. Um, definitely I will not be without my natural mineralized, mineralized skin finish in medium plus. I don't know if that's showing, but in medium plus. And then I have my blush in Stereo Rose, which is an MSF as well. Stereo Rose. And then my Wonder Woman MSF in Pink Power. And this one is just going to serve as my bronzer. My powder bronzer. And then a blush as well if I want this shade. And uh, my highlighter as well. And la last but not the least, my favorite as of late is the Chanel Blush in SP Gel number 65. My Dior Skin um, Loose Powder. And the one that I use is same as the foundation is 030. And last but not the least is just a few lip products here. Oh, I forgot. I do have this NYC Loose Pigment. This is an amazing pigment. And this one is in Champagne. 893A Champagne. So this is the NYC Champagne Loose Pigment and that's how it looks and it just gives a very beautiful um, peach nude gold um, iridescence. And then I'll be proceeding to the last few bits which are the lip products. And I'm going to start with this one I've already put out. Um, these are just the shades that I think are very beach friendly and warm. Um, I have one of the Venomous Villains shades, and this one is in Strange Potion. So that's Strange Potion right there. It's like a peach coral shimmer. And then I have this from To The Beach collection of last summer, and this is Splashing. So the second one in the bottom is Splashing, and it's like a cool toned pink, medium pink. And last but not the least is Pink Lemonade, and I'll just swatch it for you guys. It's very similar to Strange Potion, but it has a bit more of a nude-like appeal to the peach coral. So those are the three um, beach warm shades that I thought would be beach appropriate. And then finally here, just a few high-end lip products. So I'll be taking two lip liners with me, and this is Makeup Forever's Aqua Lips in 15c and this coral peach one is 18c so those are the two lip liners right there 15c is the one on top and 18c is the one in the bottom last but not the least just my rouge coco shines i have number 59 elise and number 48 evasion and boy, I have 54 boy, but it is in my actual purse. And then just the two glossy mirrors um, that I'll probably be using for the wedding events. Um, they're the limited edition ones from this spring 2011. This one is Aragonite, which is 151 Aragonite. And this is the most amazing pearlescent gloss ever. And... This one is 149 Nakar. And I just have one actual lipstick product that I'm taking, and this is um, Dior's Ultra Addict Lipstick, and this one is in Rose Lingerie, which is this shade right here. So that's basically what I will be taking with me. It just looks like a, a disaster right now, but. I'm definitely going to have them fit in the bags and show you guys. I actually forgot to mention this blush and I saw it while I was fixing up. And this is the Sonia Kashuk. This is a Sonia Kashuk blush. Amazing blush. And you can just get this in Target. And this one is in the shade Tawny 08. And it's really just almost like a nude, slight touch of pink blush that you can just use as a contour really. So, yeah. So that's basically everything right there and these or probably just one of this is just going to go in my brush um, brush bag so that's about it um, yeah so that is my condensed um, that's my makeup kit for the weekend um, 
and the only reason why it probably is more than what I would probably bring just on a normal weekend is that it's actually a wedding weekend so there's a couple of events but I think I did well for you know this amount so thanks guys for watching and I hope um, you guys have a great evening